Okay, here we go. Royal Hibachi Buffet, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey, Chains P. Madonna. Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. I want to give a shout out to Jeff Sambello and the Exorcist Bishop Brian, the star of the show Ghost Adventures on the Travel Channel. Okay. Here we, here we have a cornucopia of seafood and I think breast of lamb with lamb ribs, I believe. So, it's, what I'm going to do is start off with uh, with looks like cod. This is codfish, right, sir? Look a lot. Nobody answers me. Okay. All right, that's okay. That's all right. It looks like cod. It's got to be. Look, look at the thick flakiness of the, uh, of the fish. Okay, we're gonna have. Um... Here we go. We're gonna have some surf and turf to start off with. Some. Thick succulent codfish. All right. Uh, that I have plans for later. I have an idea. Instead of using brown rice, I'm going to use the chow mein fun rice noodle. And here uh, I'm going to get some nice, what I believe is, um, look at that. has to be lamb because it smells like lamb. There's no sign there, but uh, it's almost like getting a rack of lamb, you know? The gentleman just put this out. I say gentleman, I don't know why, because when I asked him a question, he didn't even answer me. So therefore he's not a gentleman, but I say that anyway, for the sake of the video. The guy needs a smack right across the head, that's what he needs. Okay, just going to walk around here. Here's the Chinese section. And uh, check the soups out. Hey, seafood soup is here. Uh, potato soup? No, that's for peasants. Chicken noodle soup? Peasant food. Where's the crab soup? I don't think he has it today. Egg drop soup. Drop from the top top of the Great Wall of China. Hot and sour soup. Very good for colds and congestion. Vegetables, egg roll, peasant food. Or well, unless you're a vegan. Unless you're one of those scrawny uh, marathon runners with no muscle mass. Then I will uh, check the lemons. Okay, here we have some nice chow mein fun rice noodles. Chow mein fun rice noodles. I'm going to use that at the bottom of the plate as a bed for when I put the seafood, the shellfish with the with the broth, with the seafood broth on top. Not this, not these cockles, these clams, which are actually not bad. Actually, that's not a bad idea. But I'm going to use the other one with the mussels and scallops and shrimp and the squid. All right. I might as well, uh, I have no idea. Oh, thank you. Thank you. My lemons are ready. So I'm assuming there's no lemons in the buffet, so I'm going to use this color to get limes because limes kind of go with beige. But then again, you know what? Green limes actually go with this color too. Because you never know, they might they might bring out lemons. So I'm going to save myself a trip. Okay, here we go. Here's the ice cream. Let's see what if there's any mess that the kids made. You know, the fatty arbuckles. Oh, wow, they've been really going at it. Must be a lot of Chris, a lot of little Chris Christie's today. Let me get a steak knife. Alright, so I'm going to 
to save myself another trip. Ah, oh, bless her heart. Look at that. She got me a whole bunch of limes. Nice girl, nice girl. Very nice. Well, I use this for I use this for bones. There you go, succulent cod with uh, lamb ribs and uh, breast o' lamb, sacrificial lamb. Let me see. Whoa! Let me see what we got here for fruit: fresh pineapple, grapes, cantaloupe, orange. Uh, oh, look at this kiwi. I've never seen kiwi of this color. Interesting. I know it's not lychee. I'm just wondering. I know it looks like lychee. Look at that. They mix the limes with the lemons. They mix limes and lemons. Here we have the giant New Zealand green lip mussels. See, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Well, let me get my bowl again. Nah, I didn't know they had they had some lemons out. Maybe the price of lemons went up. Hey, look at that pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. I'm gonna get some real lemons, man. I need lemons for the codfish. See, I don't care about putting lime in my ice water because lime is. Very nice, refreshing, you know. But as far as the catch of the day goes, I gotta have lemons. Unless I'm making ceviche. I'm here at the uh, uh, Royal Hibachi Grill and Buffet, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Okay, that should do it. Look at the size of these New Zealand green lip mussels. I'm gonna have to take that. I'm gonna have to take that. Yeah. These are real jumbo. Look at the look at the labia on that. <laughs> look at the labia on that. It's not really a labia. I'm just saying that it looks like one. Babies crying because they can't get their way. And then they grow up to be president of the United States and they continue to cry in the White House. Yeah. Okay, so what I have to, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all my special delectables together. So nobody takes them away. There you go. And then I'm going to set up my napkins. Beautiful. Lamb ribs, breast of lamb, rack of lamb, whatever the hell you want to call it. It's all mixed with uh, very nice codfish uh, fillet, very thick. There's that very rude person that works at the at the front desk. I think she's the one that overcharged a good friend of mine before 3 p.m. charged her for dinner. The Asian girl at the front desk. That's why I've been I've been scolding her lately. You know, very. Um, well, I can't. I don't expect a lot from waitresses because they're. Even in diners, you know, they're, they're weird, they're strange people. Lack manners, lack courtesy. You know, they don't, they don't get the finest pillars of society, you know, that take these jobs. Same thing with retail managers, they're assholes. Supermarkets are the worst. Okay, it's round two, the Royal Hibachi Buffet, Route 46. 
west side of Brooklyn, Jersey. Instead of doing a bed of brown rice and making my own custom-made paella like I did uh, last set, last Friday, custom-made uh, paella valenciana and using the brown rice, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the chow mein fun um, rice noodle as a bed to place the seafood shellfish with the broth on top of it all right this way the rice noodle absorbs the broth okay all right all right no no hardcore sushi yet just the you know the california roll type um oh. What happened to the Mongolian barbecue man? man they must have took a break. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. I'm going to put that on top of this. All right. <clears throat> That's it. With the chow mein fun, uh, angel hair rice noodle absorbing all the seafood broth or the liquid from the shellfish okay which came from that all right that looks really good the uh angel hair chow mein phone rice noodle absorbing all the seafood broth all right. Hey, look at that. We got roasted peppers, squash. Look at that. Yellow squash, zucchini. I don't know what that is. Oh, there's the eggplant. Look at that. Look at that. All right. See, this is a good idea. Here's the ice cream. Roasted eggplant. Very good here. it I return to my table where there's a lot of light to get a good view of this succulent seafood delight oh. See, see, seafood salad doesn't look bad at all the only thing is I'm stuck it looks like couscous salad to be honest with you Couscous, the uh, the, the larger uh, Israeli style couscous. Uh, let's see what's going on here. I'll tell you one thing: when football season starts, it would be a fantastic idea to put a sign in the front window advertising the the hot chicken wings here. Have people come in and do takeout, you know, uh, buy it in bulk. I told the owner already, he, he thought it was an excellent idea. I would start it in preseason when, when you know, the preseason games start in, the, in late summer. Right? They, they have the best buffalo hot chicken wings you'll find anywhere, really. Uh, let's see what we got here. I'm at the Royal Hibachi uh, Buffet, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Let's see what we got here. Any dumplings in here? Oh, there we go. Steamed dumplings. But I've, I've been refraining from the white flour products. Oh, sticky buns. Maybe I'll have some of them. Steam. Okay, I'll get some, um, no, not dumplings, I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong side. I'll get some, um, some steam. What do you call these, the steam sticky buns? What they have inside stuffed, but I 
will sure find out. Okay, there you go. Some shrimp and tuna. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, salmon and tuna sashimi with two steamed sticky buns. Uh, no squash, there's no squash, no eggplant, I'm not in the mood. But I am in the mood for ice cream. I am in the mood for ice cream. Of course, this, my so-called Cavone friend, didn't even bother to say goodbye. Oh, man. They, they have no manners here once, once they become Americanized. All right, uh, I was, it's so busy here, it's so crazy here on a Saturday at the Royal Abachi uh, Buffet, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey, that I forgot to uh, take you on a tour as I was uh, uh, procuring the food. But anyway, I have cream of broccoli soup, uh, calamari with marinara sauce, I like tentacles. I don't know why these, uh, these Americans are babies, they don't like the tentacles, they gotta have the body, the rings. And then I got some succulent flan. And, um, but I did have a nice conversation with a, uh, some young lady with very pouty lips, which was nice. And I'm here with little Jimmy Pesto. What is that, snow crab? Yeah. Snow crab, look at that, snow crab. Little Jimmy Pesto's got snow crab. All right. Some lady was throwing up on me. I'm lucky I got that. You mean they were like grabbing it like, mm -hmm. like they never ate it before? Yeah, the, that's why the, the lobster tails are gone. They didn't look too tasty though. No, no, no. Those are the remnants that nobody wants. What they did was they picked out the tails when they first bring it out. Okay, James P. Madonna, Mega Life 21, Progressive Discussions here at the Mongolian Barbecue. Royal Abachi Buffet, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. I got shrimp, I got uh, chow mein fun, angel hair, rice noodles, a lot of shrimp. I got cabbage, onions, uh, the usual, muy picante, and a lot of garlic. Yeah, that's mine too, together. Look at that wonderful vapor of light. Steam, look at that. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna get mine hot and spicy. Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. They're singing happy birthday to someone. They don't even know the words to the song. Do you believe somebody has a copyright on that damn song? Do you believe it? Only in greedy capitalist America would they actually have a copyright on the happy birthday song. It's incredible. The greed, what they get away with. If I was a judge, I'd tell... I tell the uh, lawyers and agents to go to go fuck themselves. Really, you want to copyright "Happy Birthday" to you? Happy Birthday to you! This man is this man is very busy on Saturday. Very busy. So busy, I'm tired uh, just watching him work. Poor guy. I hope they, I hope they, they leave him a, 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 a nice propina, a nice, uh, nice gratuity. Because they deserve it. They absolutely deserve it.
beautiful. Look at that. Work of art. It's amazing. See how fast the line got long here? Unbelievable. There's mine all the way on the far left, left hand corner. Look, there's no room. There's no room. There's no room on the griddle. There's not enough room for him to put all the food. Look at that. Okay, pretty soon mine will be ready as it shrinks. Got the onions, got the uh, Asian cabbage, lots of shrimp, uh, chow mein fun, uh, angel hair rice noodles. All right, a lot of garlic, hot pepper. Here's the King of Mongolian Barbecue. It happens to be Saturday. Towards the end of February 2019. The Royal Hibachi Grill and Buffet. All right, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Like Funny One and Progressive Discussions as well as the wonderful show about craft beer called Wild Card Wednesdays as well as other uh, fine wine uh, shows conducted by Mr. Um, Ronald J. Tirio of Louisiana uh, Craft Beer Reviews, uh, as seen on the web, James B. Madonna, progressive discussions, as seen on the web. Look at the vapors of life. Don't forget, you people, join my Facebook group, uh, Everything is Food and Holistic Health Talk. as well as the International Brotherhood of Palawans, which represents old school physical fitness. But in, in terms of the topic of this video, join Everything is Food on Facebook. I started the group in 2012. And I uh, want to give a shout out, of course, to my right-hand man, administrator, the creator himself, Mario Petrus. And his partner, Mr. Salvatore Mercurio, another food expert of Wayne, New Jersey. Mick Von Raven, Anthony Laura, Jeff Zambello, Sam Hunt. Donald, Donald Boost. Uh, okay, if you can, if it's not far away. If it's far away, don't worry about it. Uh, you're busy, don't worry about it. Uh, don't worry about it. By the time you get the sesame oil, you have a thousand people online. That's it. Hey, my food is done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now I am bringing my very large Mongolian barbecue. What the hell is this? The sun going down already here? What's going on here? The sun's going down already? Mongolian barbecue extraordinaire.
Okay, I was going to go for the ice cream, but look at the surprise I found here. You know what this is, people? This is flan. Oh, yeah. This is flan. Succulent flan. What a delight this is. Latin American specialty. All right. This is very rare to see this. Get some of that caramel sauce. Look at that, it's a work of art. Look, look at that, look at that beauty. I'm gonna Jeff Sambo, look at that. And also, uh, Exorcist Bishop Brian. Here we got Tre Leche, another Latin dessert. Tre Leche with, a, with the Tre Leche sauce. But I'm happy with the flan. Let's see what kind of ice cream they have. The same flavors they have every week. Okay, here we go. Strawberry, chocolate, strawberry. Coffee ice cream. Uh, oh. Okay, that tops off this week's uh, lunch buffet at the Royal Hibachi uh, Grill and Buffet, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Uh, succulent egg custard flan with vanilla ice cream. Okay, and uh, it looks really good, but that's it. That should top off this week. Um, it is uh, the end of uh, February This has been a Mega Life 21 production.